Oskar Schindler not only saved the lives of more than 1,200 Jews, he saved our faith in humanity. It is said that doing what is right is not always popular, and what is popular is not always right. A heroic man by the name of Oskar Schindler demonstrated this in more ways than one when he decided to fend for the Jewish people during World War II. Under the rule of Adolf Hitler, a group called the Nazis invaded and controlled most of Europe. Hitler's main goal was to take over the world, and his final solution in doing so was to try and wipe out the Jewish population. Innocent men, women, and children of this religion were being aggressively targeted and taken into harsh, jarring labor camps. The reason for this non-essential punishment was because Hitler blamed the Jews for a lot of the issues that Germany faced at the time. Oskar Schindler, a Nazi businessman, was one of the few people who saw the wrong in Hitler's plan and decided to fight for the innocent Jewish people. Oskar Schindler took a stand in history by employing as many Jews as he could to work in his factories, saving them from the dangers of the internment and concentration camps made by the Nazis. This stand altered and refined the lives of many and put a light at the end of the tunnel for these innocent, despairing souls during World War II. Schindler's plan to keep as many Jews safely working in his factory worked well because he was trusted by the other Nazis and was well known by many. This allowed him to easily liberate and aid the Jewish people without the Nazis getting suspicious. He had many powerful connections in the German community. In 1939, Oscar set up his first factory with Isaac Stern, a Jewish accountant. Schindler relied on the local Krakow Jewish people to work in his factory, but just shortly after, Hitler ordered for the Krakow Jewish people to be rounded up and sent to labor camps. All the Krakow Jewish people were cleared out with the exception of men, women, and children that were work essential I hated to the, the brutality, the sadism, and the insanity of Nazism. I just couldn't stand by and see people destroyed. I did what I could, what I had to do, but my conscience told me I must do. That's all there is to it. Beyond this day, no thinking person could fail to see what would happen. I was now resolved to do everything in my power to defeat the system. Not long after, the labor camps that the Jewish people were being kept in quickly began to switch to concentration camps or death camps. Oskar Schindler decided to take a stand. He made a list of 11,000 Jewish people to bring to a new factory in Czechoslovakia. Schindler sent 8,000 men and 3,000 women and children to his new factory where they would be safe from roundups. He gathered them in the factory to do work, but this was really just a decoy so that more Jews could be protected from the roundups. When Schindler sent off the women and children to Czechoslovakia, a mistake was made. All 3,000 women and children were accidentally sent to Auschwitz, or more popularly known as a death camp. Schindler was determined to save the women and children. In order to get them back, he had to use diamonds as bribes and told Nazis that the small fingers of the women and children were needed to polish the insides of anti-tank shells. The Nazi soldiers bought into his lies and the 3,000 women and children on Schindler's list had passed as work essential and had been saved yet again from a brutal death at the hands of the Nazis. This is an example of how Schindler used his connection to the German community and business skills to take a stand against the wrongful doings of the Nazis. There was no choice. If you saw a dog going to be crushed under a car, wouldn't you help him? saves one life, saves the world entire. On May 8, 1945, the Axis powers surrendered to the Allies. War was finally over and the Holocaust was ended. The Jews that Schindler had saved, otherwise known as the Schindler Jews, were eternally grateful for his efforts to save them. They gifted him with a ring that read, One who saves one's life saves the world entire. Oskar Schindler also received money from the Jewish distribution community for his efforts. Schindler, a once successful businessman, 
was soon left to rely on the charity money he received from a Jewish organization known as Bine Berith and the donations he received from the families he had saved. Oscar Schindler spent much of his life after the war with the people and the families that he had saved. He traveled around the world checking in on the lives of the Jews that he had formed close relationships with during the war. Many of the people he had saved had moved on from the tragedies of the Holocaust and became successful in life. Although Adolf Hitler and the Germans had taken away years of their lives and scarred them, Schindler asked the people of his factory not to seek revenge. After the war, the few Jewish survivors tried to move on and forget the past. In the year of 1974, on October 9th, Oskar Schindler passed away due to heart and liver problems. Without Oskar Schindler, many more may have had their lives taken by the vile actions of Adolf Hitler and the other villainous Nazi rulers. Schindler touched the lives of many, not just by saving them, but by giving them hope. Schindler saved a total of about 1,200 Jews. He did not only save them, but the family members that came of their survival and the generations of these survivors that followed. In a time where many Jews were hated and many loathed the presence of innocent Jews, Schindler was brave to take a stand and try to stop Hitler and the Nazis from killing or imprisoning the people of the Jewish religion. By rigging the Nazis' weapons and pretending he needed Jewish people to work for him, Schindler took a stand. While everybody around him was so convinced that the Jewish people were to be hated, Schindler saw that the Jews were just ordinary people trying to profess what they believed in. Oskar Schindler was a valorous man who took a stand against Hitler, and for that, he will forever be remembered a hero.